Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome, everybody. Let's get into it. So today's topic is about how I start a screenplay. So ideas come from everywhere, and you never know when something is going to hit you uh, with some great idea. You're watching TV, um, you're taking a walk outside, you uh, watch a movie, listen to a podcast, something very insignificant could set off an idea. And so what do you do with that idea? You, sometimes you have uh, a vision in your head of uh, a scene or a character or some kind of scenario. And that's a very exciting time to have this brand new idea because it's such a uh, promising uh, moment in which it could become something that is, you know, one of the greatest stories that you could be telling um, at this uh, point because you're so excited about it. It's a new idea. But then how, how do you take that idea and how do you turn it into a screenplay? It doesn't have to be a screenplay, but I always have my mind set on turning it into some kind of visual medium because most most of the time my mind is geared towards uh, ideas that can be turned into something like a television show or like a movie. So uh, when that happens, I start with uh, writing it down. I open up a document. Uh, I have this structure uh, that I uh, set up where even if I get the very basic details down on a page, it's already structured in a way that leads me to develop the idea more. There have been plenty of years when I've had an idea, wrote it down, and then I come back to it not knowing what the heck I was talking about. Uh, it was some scribble of something and there's no indication of what it was supposed to be. So the this uh, process that, that I've started is that I open up a, a Word document and I have a list of different uh, sections that I fill out to help me take that idea that is nebulous and to start chipping away at it and making it more precise. So I start with, obviously, a tentative title. If I don't have a title, I just say untitled uh, because that's something that will develop as the idea develops. Sometimes I have a title right away other times, it's, uh, it's a struggle to get to a title. Even after the entire script is done, sometimes I have no idea what it is that I want to call the movie or the TV show or whatever the idea ends up being. Um, I don't want to say that I'm like great at titles because I don't actually think I am. Uh, it's one of the things that I struggle with because... I always try to find titles that are uh, suggestive of what the story is about, but also has layers of meaning to it as well. And sometimes it doesn't have to, it just has to be very straightforward. And I have trouble just breaking it down to a, that very simple concept. But that's besides the point. Uh, we can get into titles later, uh, but right now I'm just talking about when I when you have an idea... And the, the process of, of, of uh, uh, developing it. So from there, yeah, I go to the next section, which is the genre. W what is this going to be? Is it a horror? Is it a thriller? Is it a rom-com? You know, is it a comedy? Is it a drama? What is it? Well, what is this image in my head? What is this story that I'm thinking of? What is this character that um, I've been inspired by? Uh, who like what, what what is this exactly and that helps to define it even more because then you start to think in those in that that uh, in that sandbox of that genre 
uh, and helps you to develop the story because your mind is already uh, gearing up to think in in that way. Uh, and sometimes it's it's a mix of genres, which like I I'm a big fan of because uh, sticking directly with one genre uh, sometimes can be uh, a bit boring. But um, the genre is there for a reason. It's it's there to define a story uh, and be kind of a shorthand f- for uh, whatever story you're trying to tell. So from there, uh, I go to the next uh, section, which is format. What is it? Is it a movie? Is it a TV show? Is it a skit? Is it a short film? What exactly is this? And sometimes you, you don't know, but most of the time when you have an idea, you have a pretty good uh, fix on what it is just from uh, the character or from uh, the scene that there there's some indication before you even start writing of what uh, you want this idea to be uh, and it doesn't have to stay that way you might find that as you're developing the idea that you wanted it to be a feature film but you find that there's more story there which means that it sh- probably should be a tv show so th- stuff like that happens all the time and this document is constantly changing because of uh, the information that uh, is developing as you develop the story. So it's um, it's there to help you define what the idea is without it without having to put in too much work into actually writing a treatment or starting with writing the script. The next section that I focus on is the log line. Some writers start with a log line, others don't write a log line until they finish the script and they know what the story is, is going to be. Uh, that is something that I sometimes start with a log line and other times I don't know exactly what it is until much later. But at least in terms of like trying to develop the idea, I'll write some vague log line to help me define who the character is, who well, who the main character is and what they want, uh, what exactly they're up against. And that will change as well. As, as you develop the story, you'll f- find that uh, a, char- a character that um, you thought was going to be the main character no longer is, and so you can go back and change the log line to fit what the story actually is. And the... This log line can be extremely vague as well. Sometimes I'll, I'll have a log line that doesn't have any character names. It's just some guy is up against a corporation that is trying to uh, take the land of his great ancestor. And so he goes to court and, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's just a, a off the top of my head kind of. Uh, you know, drama log line or whatever. So I'll start with that. And even with something very vague, it gets your mind on uh, working on how, not only how to sell the story, because when you're, when you have a log line, that's your, your, your pitch to whoever is going to read the script. But it's also to help you get excited about the idea uh, when you're not, uh, when you're lost with it, or when you're not too excited about it, it you can come back to it and remember that that was the in- initial point of the idea in the first place. So that that's something that is is changing over time, but not it doesn't have to necessarily be changing as you're developing the story. That can be something that you come back to when it's time to send it out to people and you refine it so that so that you you can send it out with your script. And right after that is the synopsis area. Now I kind of get this uh, mixed up with uh, treatment. I end up writing a synopsis that turns into a treatment. And that's something that I toggle between because uh, eventually you're going to need to write a synopsis at one point if you're going to submit it somewhere. And so... 
you can write a synopsis and and have that ready to go. But usually I'm I'm so excited about developing the story that I just start going into treatment mode and I start laying out all the all the beats of the story. And so it it's a a section that is a bit looser because you can start to start to uh, plot out uh, the how the story goes and what the scenes are and stuff like that and that the, that's really for me it's because I'm impatient and really want to get the story down so that I can start to write the screenplay now it's very easy to think that in the middle of uh, you know writing the this synopsis uh, treatment that you know what the story is going to be and you you might have thought of what the ending was even before you started writing but I urge everybody to finish a synopsis, finish a treatment before going into writing a screenplay. I've fell into the trap of thinking that I knew where the story was going and I started writing the script. And when I got to the end of where I had dropped off from the treatment, I had no idea where to take the story from there. And it took me a little while eventually I would come back to that script and figure out where to take it. But that was just some unnecessary, uh, you know, rush that I didn't need to do uh, concerning that script. So, yeah, I, I, I urge everybody to figure out what your story is before you go in to writing the script. Now, I've also done the opposite of that, which is not figuring out any of this stuff and just started writing a script anyway and that is kind of helps but not really because you do spend a lot of time after the fact once you've written the first draft going back and trying to track everything in the script that needs to be changed and it's just it's it's a big pain um uh, overall so i i i do recommend trying to figure everything out beforehand before even uh, writing fade in on your script. And the next part of the uh, document that I sometimes use, but not always, is that I'll put a character description. I'll start to figure out who is part of the story, what their relationship is to the other characters. It is helpful in the long run, and it's something that I should probably do more often. But like I said before, I don't always do that uh, because I'm so excited about what the story is, or the story is more plot-driven than it is uh, concerned with character. But when it is important to have a backstory for all for all these characters, uh, I'll take a section and I'll give the characters names, and I'll start to figure out what their relationship is to one another and this as well is feeds into the uh, what you do in the synopsis and what you do in the treatment and and then eventually in the log line and and all that so all these things are constantly changing and uh i've developed characters and their backstories and that has helped to uh, define their actions in in the story, which has been extremely helpful in in some ways. And I'll find that maybe their the backstory is actually their the story that needs to be told instead of the actual story that I'm telling or trying to tell. And the great thing about all of this is that you can change everything on this document and it's not going to waste a lot of time. You could end up creating uh, other characters that you never even use in the script because they just don't fit anywhere. Or you may find that the main character that you wanted to follow just isn't that interesting anymore and there's a side character that has a way more interesting backstory that is the story that you were trying to tell. So all of this you wouldn't be able to find necessarily in starting to write the script because you would start with the character that you had in your head and you would follow them and then you might get 40 pages in and realize that the story is not actually about them but this other character that 
you want it to be a side character, but actually is the main character. Now that's the basic structure of the document. I sometimes put other uh, areas such as references. If there's a movie that has a character or a plot that's similar to what I'm trying to write, uh, I will put that down as something that I should watch. Uh, if there's a book, if there's if there's anything that already exists that's going to help me uh, further define the story, uh, I'll write those down so that I can uh, you know, seek them out and 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 watch them or read them or or, or what have you. And then there there's sections where uh, if I've written a part of the story that I really think is going to be useful in the future, but I don't exactly know where it's going to fit. Uh, I have a little section at the bottom that I call extra bits, and I'll just copy and paste uh, down to that section. Uh, sometimes I'll take uh, portions of the script and, and copy and paste them into that document as well. Although with a lot of screenwriting software, they already have a, a section where, you, where it's like a, a scrap page that you can uh, copy and paste uh, sections of your script into. So you don't have to do that in this document necessarily, but you can. Uh, I, it's something that I have done in the past. And um, so it's just helpful to keep things that you might need in the future or you might need to reference back to in the future, but you don't necessarily have to uh, keep in your script. And uh, usually if I'm, if I'm using it as a reference, I hardly ever have to come back to it. Either I come up with something that's a lot better than, than what I had written before, or I just forget about that, that extra, um, you know, bit of story that I just didn't need anymore, but I, I kept so that, you know, just in case. So it's really just a just in case section. So I encourage everybody to have a system in which they are able to develop ideas. Now, it's very easy to just have an idea and then think that you can just mull it over in your head and that somehow that's going to make it a reality when you're ready to write. I don't know how many people are, are able to do such a thing, but from what I understand and from what I understand of my own process is that it's all about taking these incremental steps towards the final product, towards the final form of whatever the idea is. And having a document like this is a great way to do simple steps uh, small steps towards that bigger goal. So if you start with just a title, or if you start with what the genre is, or if you start with what the format is, or if you start with a log line, you're already 10 steps ahead of somebody who is just jotting something down in a notebook and amongst other ideas that are undefined. And, you know, it, it's, it's a way to just kind of like organize everything. So... If you like this idea, feel free to try it and, and you know, let me know what you think. Uh, if it's worked for you, if it's helped to, to focus what's in your head to a more defined uh, form that can eventually be a screenplay. Uh, I've used this method many, many times. It has helped me uh, so much to just quickly put down an idea and even if I don't touch it for uh, a number of months, I can still come back to it and I know exactly what it is I was trying to do, uh, what the format was, what what kind of genre it was. It, I, I can jump right back into it without having to spend a lot of brain power figuring out what the past me was thinking. So anyway, um, that's it for for this episode and uh, I hope everybody's being safe and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.